Hello and welcome to the recap video for March 2016. I am continuing my plans of doing a monthly recap, so let's hope that I can keep that up. <laughs> and there are some nice new developments this month. Um, for one, I... well, before I get into it, I, I should say I think I don't actually want to, to go too much into the numbers anymore. I'm just going to say more or less and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Might be better, might be worse. Please let me know if you, you want the actual numbers. Uh, I can give that out uh, then again. But uh, I don't know how much that adds to it, so... Um, because saying a number like uh, 2,300 and whatever uh, sounds... I don't know how much that gives anyone. So let's focus on the positive and the... I don't know, there probably isn't that much negative. So let's just talk about what is. And the month was a little bit longer than February, of course. So that uh, does influence the statistic a little bit. But overall, the uh, watch time of all of my videos has gone up significantly. They're not double, but it's more than half more than last month, um, which I'm really happy about. So there's definite growth there. Uh, same goes for the overall um, views, but that is a little bit influenced by um, a small promotion that happened for some reason the um, Let's Play 36 of my Blood Bowl series, so that's a Skaven against Chaos match, uh, got some got referenced somewhere. I think it was um, a, um, a video that was... Um, yep, I can't think of the right word at the moment. A suggested video on someone else's channel, and apparently... And because I got a few hits of that, and then I also... Uh, posted it on Reddit to just try it out and maybe see what everyone else thinks about it. And that blew the video up a little bit out of proportion, so a lot of the views come from there, but in total it's still only a small portion uh, of views this month. So I'm I'm happy how that worked out and uh, I think, I hope that will happen more often in the future. But the views would have been up regardless. So I'm, I'm still really happy about that. And that video is, because of that, that video is also the most viewed this month. And I think also the one with the, uh, the view, uh, view meaning not um, the actual clicks, but um, the amount of people that watched it. <laughs> I think that or uh, one of the more time videos again. Um, because they tend to do good as well. But I'm really happy that Blood Bowl is picking up again and that uh, there are overall more people that are watching Blood Bowl uh, now. So I'm really happy about that. And yeah, speaking of Blood Bowl, we have added a third team. That was another small experiment. Um, I wanted to add a third team and so I created a straw poll and the participation was big enough so that we could make a good decision. That's what I was not sure about. Do enough people watch to do something like that already or not? And it did work out. In total, I think there were over 10 votes, which is good enough. And in the end, we went with orcs. And apparently everyone is... At least the ones that voted for orcs are happy about it. I didn't hear any of the negative feedback. So I hope every, everyone is fine with it. Uh, I'm a bit surprised that uh, it was a bash team, but oh well. I think we'll, we'll have some fun with them. Uh, other than that, Blood Bowl is what it is. Um, yeah, nothing new there. It's still solid. More viewers for Blood Bowl, but that's about it. More time is going really steady as well, and... I'm still having a lot of fun with the game, and we're doing the Deadly Challenge. Still, it's slower there, but uh, it's it's still progress, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, XCOM. XCOM is actually done at this point. The last video will come out next week from the point of this recording. I'm recording this um, on April 2nd. 
So that should be should come out on April 7th or 8th, I think. And I won't spoil anything yet, but every one of you who's following the XCOM campaign will know that either way, either I'm totally screwed or I will have succeeded in the last few missions because I don't have the reserve soldiers to... Uh, to, to uh, can, I can't afford to fail anymore. So, I don't know. Uh, I, I really like the finale and I'm looking forward to any feedback that might come out of that, but we'll see. But that's XCOM done for now. I will come back to the game eventually. Um, yeah, but for now we are done with it. And I was asking for suggestions last month on what I should play and there was a little bit on feedback on that and I actually was planning on starting a series for Grim Dawn but since then I I've played a little bit and I've been thinking about it and I don't think I will go for it at this point I still really like the game as I like Diablo 2 and 3 and uh, some of their clones and Grim Dawn is basically that. It's a really good Diablo 2 kind of game. Um, but at the moment I think I'm looking for something else. So what will come next is I think I, because I really like the game and I want to finally play it completely, is it's a few years older but still I think 20 something 10 plus minus two years i'm not sure exactly and that is castlevania lords of shadows one i started it when it came out but i never actually finished it i think i played about two th maybe three hours and i then then i somehow fell out of it again i don't know why to be honest so i'm going back to that and i don't know how it ends and i'm really looking forward to it i like the voice actors and the gameplay it was really cool yeah, I, I really don't know why I stopped playing. I think another game uh, came in that I started playing and I somehow fell out of Castlevania. I don't know. But we'll be doing that. And also, there are two more games I would like to play. One is a bit of a maybe at the moment. So the first one I'm definitely going to play, but I don't know how um, intensive yet, is Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Um... Because I really, it looks really cool. It's um, it's a, um, yeah, what's the word? I can't think of a real-time strategy, an RTS. That's it. Uh, set in Warhammer. Well, I don't know if it's forty k really. I don't know when when uh, the Battlefield Gothic uh, stuff takes place, but I think it's forty k or close. I don't know. I think it's before Turnits came into the galaxy, but I'm not entirely sure. So that would put it a little bit earlier. It doesn't matter too much. So it's um, space combat with big ships and uh, five playable um, fleets in the beginning, I think. Because I pre-ordered, so I get the fifth one, which is something I don't want to support, but um, we can't really change, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to pick that up, probably for some campaign, and we'll we'll have to see how this shakes out. And that game will come out at the end of April, I think. And I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to do it, but I would like to play Dark Souls 3, I think. I haven't played a single Dark Souls or Demon Souls game yet. Not a single one, so I'm a complete virgin in that regard. <laughs> And so I think that could be fun to play because apparently others enjoy it when people fail at Dark Souls and get and suffer. Uh, I myself enjoy that immensely. I've watched a little bit of Dark Souls 3 in the pre-coverage that was out there. Just enough so that I know that I want to play the game. I think maybe one or two hours of gameplay. And I also watched Dark Souls 2, probably most of it. Uh, so I know how the game works in theory, but I since I haven't actually played it, I, I assume I will do pretty horrible in the beginning. Um, and that's what makes me think if I actually want to record it, because then I would actually be forced 
or push to start editing, which I have avoided for the most part by now. But I think I would like to do this as well, just so that I can learn new stuff and um, create better videos in the long run. Uh, but that might also mean that I probably can't do more than one per week, depending on how much I die and how much editing I have to do. So I have to, I have to to um, just learn by doing basically and see how it shakes out. But please let me know if that's something you would be interested in seeing. Uh, I think it might be fun, and it's once again it's it's a challenging and a challenging game that requires a lot of skill, uh, but something different from what I'm doing right now. And I think a bit of variety would be nice. Castlevania, I'm mostly doing for myself because I the game is supposed to be really good story wise, and the beginning was really solid, and I like the voice actors. You've got uh, Robert Carlyle as the main protagonist. You've got. Um, Patrick Stewart voices a character. It's just overall really solid voice acting. And um, I think that could be nice. So, yeah. I think that's it for this month. Please let me know what you think about my plans. And if you have any other suggestions, um, talk to me as well. I'm... I found Grim Dawn out of this, and I really like the game, and I and I and I keep playing it uh, for myself. Um, so yeah, I'm I, I really like this. So please, if you have any suggestions or feedback or criticisms, let me know. Um, aside from that, oh, I, I forgot to mention one thing. So we've got, um, of course, we've got new subscribers, and 13 in total this month. So uh, a little bit less than last month. It, which isn't that big of a deal. What irks me the most is that we're just one short of the 50 subscribers. I'm at 49 right now, and I would have loved to just hit the 50 right before this video, but oh well, it, it wasn't meant to be. So yeah, everyone welcome that's, uh, that's made it here, and I hope you stick around and um, contribute and give me feedback and just have fun. Okay, so that's it, I think. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recap. If you did, please leave me a comment. Uh, and Or not, I don't know. We'll, whatever you want. <laughs> and as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.